Okay, I think we'll get started now. Um, so good morning, everyone. My name is Nancy Sterwinski, and I'm the Marketing Assistant at United Way. Um, before I get started, I want to let everyone know I am recording this webinar. Um, I ask that you keep yourself muted. Unless you have any questions, um, feel free to just ask them, or you can ask them in the chat. We are monitoring that. Um, you should have all received the ePledge user guide in the meeting request. Um, this guide has my contact information and details about ePledge. Uh, so I've been running uh, company ePledge campaigns for the past four years, and this will be my fifth campaign. Last year, we had 32 companies using ePledge. And so what is ePledge? ePledge is a highly secure and proven online campaign management system that provides you with the capabilities to run a successful campaign. This tool allows you to view your company's campaign from a dedicated, secure website, providing one central point for all campaign information. So benefits of using ePledge are it reduces or eliminates the need for paper pledge forms. It maximizes efficiency of campaign administration. It centralizes campaign information in one shared database. It enables real time reporting of donors throughout your organization and it's secure and confidential. So we ask that two to three weeks prior to your kickoff date that you complete the ePledge setup request form, and this can be found on our website um, at www.unitedwaymc.org. And this can be found by going, hovering over this, this Give tab at the top, and then going to Campaign Resources. And then on the side here under Resources, you'll see this ePledge setup form. And so on this form, you'll simply fill out your company name, um, your company campaign manager name, your email address. As the company campaign manager, you will have act, you will have admin access to the ePledge site. Um, if you want someone else from your organization to have ac access as well, um, simply check yes and then fill out their information. Um, indicate how many pay periods you have. Um, so you have 26 pay periods. Um, Put that here. If you have kind of a mixed company where some employees have 26 pay periods and some have 52, you'll simply indicate that on the employee um, list that you'll send me. Um, oops, sorry. Um, and then indicate if employees can change the number of pay periods for their payroll deduction, not to exceed their total gift. So if you have 26 pay periods and you want to allow, you know, employees to to have their gift taken out of the first 12 pay, pay periods, um, just indicate yes, and they will be able to, to change that. Um, indicate when the kickoff email will be sent, and then who that email will be from. So the email can be sent from United Way, or with your permission, it can be sent from your CEO, or it can be sent from the campaign manager. Um, if it is sent from your CEO or someone in your organization, um, just note that they will get any out of office responses um, and that we will test the emails beforehand to make sure that it's not getting stuck um, in your junk box. We also recommend that uh, setting an uh, email to staff before your kickoff date to let them know that you're, they're going to be receiving an email from that specific person and that the link in that email is safe to click. Indicate when your uh, reminder emails are going to be sent, when you want your ePledge site to close. I will always reach out before we close your campaign. So if you want to extend the deadline, we can always do that. Um, once you submit your form, I will reach out. I will um, send you an example of how we want the import your employee list to look, um, as well as example emails. And I'll send you that guide, the ePledge guide again. And this is just an example of what that email will, could look like. Um, so this one, we, an example, we had it sent from um, our executive director, Jeff. And here you have, you know, that link that people can click on. Okay. So once I receive your setup request, I'll reach out, I'll send you those um, email examples. Um, and then we ask that you provide a Excel or CSV file of your employees. So we ask that you provide first name, last name, their work email, and work locations if you have multiple offices. 
um, either throughout the state or even um, in other states. We just ask for um, those locations. And then you may provide additional information for your payroll reporting purposes, such as employee ID, home address. The more information we receive, the easier it is um, for us to identify those individuals in our system. So when your campaign starts for your company, employees will receive that email with the link. Um, and that link is directed towards your company's ePledge home screen. Your email provides you with a direct link to your specific page. So you never want to forward your email with your personal link to another employee. That link directs back to your personal giving history, your pledge information. So if someone you know, says, I didn't get the email, they should reach out to me. Never forward that email onto somebody else. If you have employees who don't have work emails, we are able to set them up with a user ID and password. For example, their username could be their last name and their password could be their employee ID. So they would log in manually to the pledge site um, and they would do this by um, logging using this ePledge login. Um, and this is found under that same page as the ePledge setup guide on our website. You can also do a mixed campaign where if some employees don't have emails, we can set them up with the user ID and password, but also send the link and an email to those who do have email. Um, so this is something that you're interested in doing. Just let us know ahead of time um, and we'll We'll get you set up that way. So if they log in manually, they'll just click the ePledge login. They'll see this screen user ID and um, password. Simply, you know, type in their user ID and password. Um, and so once in the pledge site, whether it be logging in manually or clicking on that link in your email, you will um, see your customized welcome message so it'll say welcome to this says united ways online pledge site but it'll it'll say your company in there um, if you have multiple um, locations um, you'll see this um, designation option at the bottom here um, it'll say where their gift is going so if you have different locations let's say you have a location out in marshfield anyone who works at that marshfield location will automatically have their gift designated to Marshfield Area United Way, and it'll say this in red. If you have employees who live in Marshfield, but like work in Marathon County, their gift will be designated to the county they work in, so Marathon County. At the top of the pledge screen, you have your option to pledge now. You can check your giving history. If you have given in the past three years, it'll show up here, so we can see gifts from previous years. If you um, are a Summit League member, your leadership level will show up here. If you have a combined gift with someone, let's say a spouse, um, that combined gift total will show up here. Um, employees can also check their contact information. So, you know, if their address has changed or if they want their email, their personal email to be different, they can change all that information here. So. Some of the pledge op options to get started they just simply click the pledge now button at the top they have the option to do payroll deduction they can do bill me um, so they can choose when they want to be billed if they want to be billed monthly quarterly one time um, kind of the same with credit card if they want to be charged today um, one time quarterly we also have this sorry i don't wish to give at this time we do recommend that if your employees don't want to give a gift that they do select this option and click and, and simply hit next and complete that process it'll let us know that they're not going to give a gift this year and we won't we won't reach out um, and ask for a gift nancy i'm going to interrupt and ask a question for a moment is the website mobile friendly yeah i just saw this this question so yes the site is mobile friendly Payroll deduction, um, a nice feature at the top of these pages is it see you can see what your, your gift was last year. Um, and it's also a minimum of $50 to designate your gift. So that'll kind of show at the top here. We can see that they have 26 pay periods um, and then I cannot change that number. So my gift will be taken out over 26 um, pay periods. If you do allow people to change this option, there, there will simply be a drop down um, and they can indicate how many pay periods they want their gift taken out of. So you can either enter in how many deductions per pay you want, or you can enter in the total amount um, and both boxes will populate. So if you put in 
um, four dollars, it'll populate 104, um, vice versa. Um, if you wish to designate your gift, simply check uh, check yes um, and hit next. If you don't want to do that, just skip this process. But for this demo, I'm just going to go through the process of designating your gift, and you can see um, how that's done. So we'll um, select yes and then hit next. So on this page, you can designate to United Way funded programs and you select that by selecting United Way of Marathon County here. If you work in Marathon County, but you live in a different county and wanna to give to that United Way, you can select United Ways in Wisconsin and find your local United Way. You can also give to United Ways in different states, and you can simply um, select United Ways USA to find that United Way. So if you want to give to United Way funded program, you'd simply check this United Way Marathon County, and you will get this long list of programs that you can designate to, and then you would simply add in the amount that you want to give, and you would add that amount. Another cool feature is back on that same screen we were on, at the bottom here, there's this um, keyword search. And so you can kind of search for, you know, a program that you want to give to. So I want to give to the Boys and Girls Club. I searched for them, um, did search. They showed up here. And then you simply um, add them here. You can add in the amount that you want to designate. And then hit add. And so at the top here, we can see that our total pledge is 104. Our total designated is 50 and our total undesignated is 54. So undesignated amounts simply go, go towards um, the most the, the, the greatest need in our community. So if everything looks correct, you'd simply hit next. And this is um, the first verification page. Um, it asks what email addre address you want your confirmation email to go to. If you designated your gift, you're going to get this option to do you want to let the agency know that you designated um, to their program. Um, if you want to remain anonymous, you can check that here. You'll automatically be checked um, to get a confirmation email. If you want to join an affinity group, those options are here and they're hyperlinked back to our, our website. Um, with descriptions on what those groups are about. So I checked, I want to join Emerging Leaders. If everything, everything looks correct, you can simply hit Next. And then this is your confirmation page. So we can see that I'm doing payroll deduction. I have 26 pay periods. I'm having $4 taken out of each pay period for a total of 104. I gave $50 of my gift to be designated to the Boys and Girls Club. And then down here, we can see that I'm going to get a confirmation email. I want to join Emerging Leaders. If everything looks correct, simply hit confirm. And then you'll get um, this confirmation page. And you'll also be sent a confirmation email right away. And this is an example of what that confirmation email will look like. It will come from United Way. Um, so we ask that you keep this for your records. There's a survey at the bottom to rate your giving experience if you wish to take that. So I'm gonna kind of pause here and are there any questions on how to make a gift through the, through the pledge site? Nancy, can you just um, add a few comments about companies that might wanna do a blended campaign? Um, it's not necessarily like an all or nothing. They can have, especially in the first year, if we've got new people on the call, how it might work if they had e-pledge and paper pledge cards. Yep, so you can do a blended campaign. You can do, um, some employees can do pledge um, pledge cards and some can be set up with um, email. I know we had a company last year, they set up uh, more of their corporate employees to give online to kind of test it out. And then the rest of their employees, like shop employees, were doing pledge cards. So you can always do a blended campaign like that. You know, if you have employees who don't have email and you don't want to set them up to, you know, have a user ID and password, they can use um, pledge cards. And then you can have people who have emails be set up to to get that email and that um, that pledge link to get them into the pledge site. Does that kind of answer your question, Tiffany? That's perfect. Sure. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay. So back on the home page, 
Um, at the bottom, as a campaign manager, like I mentioned earlier, you will have administration access. Access. So at the bottom, uh, bottom left part of your screen, you can see this go to administration site. And if you click on that, it'll switch you over to the admin homepage. And so from this screen, we can check your campaign status. Um, it'll show you how many employees um, have pledged so far and how what your total is. So we can see that we have 20 employees at United Way. I just gave a gift of 104. Um, you can see your partic participation rate. You can see how many people have responded. And number of responses will also include employees who selected that. Sorry, I don't wish to give at this time. If you have multiple locations, so let's say, um, for example, you're a bank um, like Connexus or Peoples and you work at like, you know, the Wausau branch, they'll, um, they'll show up here, but you'll want to select all locations and it'll show all the different branches um, and, how, and how they're doing. Or if you have multiple locations in different parts of the state or even um, locations in different states that you're kind of the, the head company for. You can also run reports. So there's two types of reports you can run. You can run a no response report and a transaction report. And so a no response report will um, give you a list of everyone who has not given a gift yet um, for your company. Um, it already populates to the current year and then you simply can just submit that report and get, and get that list. Um, same for a transaction report. This will give you a list of everyone who has given a gift. If you have, again, multiple locations, multiple offices, I recommend this include subsidiaries. This will give you a list of all, all your different locations um, and who has given. Towards the bottom of this screen, there's this show report type. I recommend changing this to a CSV format. I find that it's easier to read the list versus a PDF. So that's just my recommendation if you're running your own reports is to um, change this to a, to a spreadsheet. And when you have that, you just hit submit. And at the top, you'll kind of get this little message that says reports have been submitted and will be available under the view reports tab at the top of this page. So if we go to view reports, we'll see that this is where our report is that we submitted. If you have a really big company it may take a little bit longer to process. If that's the case, um, the status, um, it won't say ready. It'll, it'll still be um, submitting, but when it's ready, it'll say ready and you can pull that report. You also have the option to do an employee pledge search. So you could use this option, you know, if, um, this feature of an employee says, I'm not sure if my gift went through. So you would simply use this employee pledge search option. You would type in their name and hit the search icon. If you hit this add button, that's gonna take you through the process of adding a new employee. Um, you can add a new employee here, or you can simply email me your new employees um, and I can get them added to our system and, and set, the, set up and sent an email or set up with user ID and password. And new employees can be added throughout your campaign. So if your campaign's already kicked off and you got new employees, we can still add them um, to your campaign. So we can see here that I made a gift, how much my gift was, what that pledge type was, it was payroll deduction. Um, this little this little mail icon here, this will resend someone a verification email or their confirmation email. If you hit this X button, it will delete their transaction. And then if someone wants to change their pledge, you can click on this little pen and paper and you can update their pledge. Okay. Are there any questions on the admin part of the um, ePledge site? It's a really cool feature to be able to see how your campaign is doing in, in real time. Nancy, if someone's not comfortable running their own reports, is there another way that they can get them? Yeah, so if you don't feel comfortable running, running your own report, simply send me an email and say, can you send me a, you know, a transaction report or a no response report or both, um, and I can send you over those Excel files. Yeah, just send me an email. 
Nancy, once someone as an employee gives a gift, that automatically takes them off the email list, correct? So they won't get any more emails saying, please give, please give, because they've already given, correct? That's a good question. Yep, so um, once someone gives a gift, they are automatically taken off that email list. So, you know, let's say they gave a gift right after you sent your kickoff email, but you have three more reminder emails scheduled for your, for your um, campaign time, they will not be sent any reminder emails. They'll be taken off. Same with those people who check the, I don't want to give it this time. They'll be taken off. Yep, it's a good question. Are there any other questions? Nancy, if someone is interested in doing ePledge for the first time this year, what next steps should they take? If you're interested in you know, and doing it for the first time this year, um, I recommend simply filling out that you pledge a setup form. Um, if you, you know, still want a more, you want, a, you know, a one-on-one -on -one meeting, we can always, we can always meet and, and go through it in more detail. Um, you know, we always recommend reaching out, you know, to your employees and telling them that you're going to be doing things differently this year, that you're going to be doing pledging you know, if it's going to be fully online or even if it's going to be a, a mixed campaign, just letting your employees know that you're going to be using this, you know, this new process to make your make your gift. Does that kind of answer your question, Tiffany? Is that... Yes, thank you very much. Okay. And ePledge works great if your company is small, if your company is large. Um, it's great to have that, you know, again, that real time reporting, you know, eliminating the need for paper pledges. Everything is online. If you skip that, desi that designation step, it's real simple. It's, you know, indicate how much you want to give, confirm where your email is going to go, and then confirm your gift. It's kind of like a one, two, three process, and you're done really fast and simple. And then people get that email sent to them right away for their records. Um, when you do payroll deduction, you know, those gifts will start um, January 1st. At the end of um, your campaign, when we close your campaign, um, we'll send you a, a, a report of everyone who has who has made a gift. If you do have a mixed campaign, we will wait on those on getting those pledge cards to send you over a transaction report because we do have to import those into our system. Are there any other questions? Did I answer everyone's questions? Everyone's pretty quiet. Nancy, can you just comment? You mentioned a little bit about the size of campaign, big or small. Um, can you just to give people a frame of reference, what is the smallest campaign that you run and what is the largest number of employees that you run? Smallest campaign that we pr we run um, is probably about 15 people, 15 to 20 people. The largest, oh, we may need to help me with that, Tiffany. Two, 2,000 or no? Um, well, pr maybe with our out of areas, I think maybe t is Marshfield Clinic our largest? I'm going to jump in, either Marshfield or Aspirus. So yeah. they're probably like 10,000 plus. Yeah. Um, so just for anybody who's on the line who's wondering what a manageable number is for us, um, I don't think there's probably a campaign too small. Um, and at this time, I can't think of an employer that would be too big in town for us to be able to manage, correct? Correct, yes. Does anybody else have any questions if you want to unmute yourself or come on camera if you'd like to talk to Nancy personally? She did offer as well to do any one on one trainings if you want some additional information if you're interested in this for the first time or just a refresher as well. I don't see any questions coming in. If you do have any questions um, that come up later on, just feel free to send me an email um, and I get your questions answered. Again, yeah, if you want a one-on-one -on -one meeting, 
just send me an email. We can get you set up. We really do recommend ePledge. It is really simple. It's really, really easy for us to do as well as 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 well as for you. Um, and I hope to to see some of you who don't are, aren't currently using ePledge to go online and submit your request and we'll, we'll get you all set up. Thank you all for being here today. And again, feel free to reach out to Nancy um, if you have any specific questions about ePledge. As always, you can um, email me as well. But thank you all for being here and have a wonderful day.